ever daydream about what the perfect home for you is going to be? Is it a cottage, a, a nice town home, or a sprawling mansion? Homes like this, this, or this. Today we're diving into the world of home ownership and making these dreams more available. Whether you're a first time home buyer or just curious, sit back as today we're gonna to be talking about the prices of home ownership and making sense of your housing dreams. Let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Evan, a real estate agent and mortgage broker. Today we're gonna to be looking at five homes at five different price points and breaking them down individually so you have a better sense of the costs related to each specific house. For these five examples, I'm gonna be setting some guidelines. I will be using mortgage rates from September of 2023. Uh, the fictitious buyer will have a credit score of 760 and each home will be bought with 20% on a conventional loan. Now there are other loan products that allow you to buy these homes for less money down, but for the sake of this video and consistency, every single loan will have 20% down. Starting off, we're gonna be showing you 10W Curry Road with two beds and one bath 950 square feet and listed at $348,000. So let's break down the numbers. If you were to purchase this home at $348,000 with a 20% down, which is $69,600, that would leave you with a loan of $278,400. You would have a rough monthly cost of $2,392.60. Also, you would need to bring $83,658.42 to the closing. Closing costs, for those wondering, are fees paid when the transaction occurs. So things like paying for the appraisal, uh, paying your attorney, the escrow fees, title insurance, uh, potential points for the interest rate, uh, and more. So typically, closing costs range from about 3 to 6% of the loan amount. Now, the closing costs and your down payment are gonna be out of pocket, which means that they're not gonna be a part of the loan. So that's what you need to bring separately to the closing. The next home we're gonna be talking about is one Ogden Road listed at $500,000. The house has three bedrooms, two baths, 1,600 square feet, and is situated on 0.24 acres. If you were to purchase this home at the listed price, a 20% down payment will be $99,980, leaving you a loan of $399,920. Monthly, you would have a mortgage payment of $4,192.48, and out of pocket, you would be $123,410.95. The next home we're gonna be showing you is 7 Elizabeth Place, listed for $799,000. The home has four bedrooms, three baths, it has over 3,700 square feet, and it is sitting on 0.78 acres. If you were to purchase this home for the listed price, a 20% down payment would be $159,800, leaving you a loan of $639,200. Now for monthly payments, you would have $5,298.70 and you would need to bring $183,749.72 to the closing table. Next up on our list is 602 Palmer Drive, listed for $999,999. The house has four bedrooms, three baths, it is roughly 2,000 square feet, and it is situated on 0.51 acres. If you were to purchase this home at the listed price of $999,999, a 20% down payment would be $199,999.80, leaving you a loan of $799,999.20. Your monthly payments would be $7,288.64. And when you were coming to closing, you would have to bring $244,000 568 and eight cents. A lot of money. Next up on this list, I wanted to show you a house listed for some serious money. Four Forest Avenue, listed for $10,750,000. This house has five bedrooms, 10 baths, 12,000 square feet, and it is sitting on two acres. Now, if you were to purchase this home for its listed price of $10,750,000, a 20% down payment would be $2,150,000, leaving you a casual loan of $8,600,000. Now, 
your monthly payments would be $67,299.54. And you would need to bring $2,809,119.05 to the closing table. Well, I hope that gave you a better understanding of the costs of buying a home. Now, obviously that last one was for fun, but if you want a video breaking down the home buying process from start to finish, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then click the video here. Also, please subscribe, like the video, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.